Hello and welcome to the Daily Vigil Bible. I'm Owie Yates. This is it. The last chapter of Deuteronomy. The last we see of Moses as a fellow mortal man. This is the chapter where we truly do say goodbye to somebody we have travelled with for such a long time now. Nearly drowned at birth. Brought up a prince. Made an outcast by his own actions. Freedom fighter. Lawgiver. Truly God's spokesman. Let's open God's word with prayer. Lord, I ask as I read your word, that you reveal something new to me. I also ask that as people hear your word, they come to better understanding of you. Amen. Moses went up from the plains of Mark to Mount Nebo, to the top of Pisgah, that is over against Jericho. He always showed them all the land of Gilad, to Dan, and all Naipatani, and the land of Ephraim and Manasseh, and all the land of Judah, to the western sea, and the south, and the plain of the valley of Jericho, the city of palm trees, to Zohar. He always said to him, This is the land which I swore to Abraham, to Isaac, and to Jacob, saying, I will give it to your offspring. I have caused you to see it with your eyes, but you shall not go over there. Suppose this the servant of Yahweh died there in the land of Moab, According to Yahweh's word, he buried him in the valley in the land of Moab opposite a path pure. But no man knows where his tomb is to this day. Moses was 120 years old when he died. His eye was not dim, nor his strength gone. Children of Israel wept for Moses in the plains of Moab 30 days, until the days of weeping in the morning for Moses were ended. Joshua the son of Moab was full of the spirit of wisdom. For Moses had laid his hands on him. The children of Israel listened to him, and did as Yahweh commanded Moses. Since then, there was not so as a prophet in Israel like Moses, whom Yahweh knew face to face, in all the signs and the wonders, which Yahweh sent him to do in the land of Egypt, to Pharaoh, and to all his servants, and to all his land, and all the mighty hand, and all the awesome deeds, which Moses did in the sight of all Israel. (laughs) 